Hey there, welcome to Educate. Today we're going to be talking about the ionic bonding. Last time we talked about the covalent bonding whereby there's a sharing or inter interaction of valence electrons. Today we're going to be talking about the ionic bonding. So what difference does it make in terms of ionic bonding co comparing to the covalent? So let's actually look at the pointers here. So here, first of all, uh, it involves a complete transfer of electrons. So this involves a complete transfer of electrons so what does this mean comparing to the covalent bond remember that the covalent bond we talked about the valence the sharing of the valent electrons so uh, this is actually involving the uh, a complete transfer of electrons so this means that there is a transfer of electrons from one point for, or from one atom to another atom so there is a complete meaning that there is tra complete transfer there is not actually sharing of electrons remember that in covalent it was the interaction of valence electrons or the sharing of valence electrons therefore in ionic bonding it means that there is a complete transfer of electrons i hope you understand that and then the metal atom gives electrons to a nonmetal. so ionic bond happens between a metal and a nonmetal. so here the metal the metal atom gives electrons to the nonmetal. So, when there's an ionic bond happening, it means that uh, there's, a, there's a metal and a nonmetal. So, these are metal and nonmetal. Remember that in covalent bond, it can be between nonmetals only. Therefore, in ionic bond, it, 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 it is between a metal and a nonmetal, whereby a metal atom gives electrons. By gives, it means that there is a complete transfer, meaning that all all, or all the electrons will be, what, will be transferred to the nonmetal. So let's actually go to point number three. So metal forms a positive cation. The metal forms a positive cation. Okay, let's actually look at the cation thing. So here, a metal, when it transfers those electrons, it means that it's actually losing those electrons to the non-metal, right? So it means that it will have what? Excess protons. And then if you have excess protons, it is called a cation. So it is called what? A cation. The positive just emphasizing that a cation is positive, but then it is actually a cation. It's a type of ion, which is actually what? Which is actually, uh, which has got excess of protons and deficiency of what? Of electrons. Remember that the deficiency of electrons was caused by the complete transfer of electrons from the metal atom to the nonmetal. So let's go to point number four. So, nonmetal forms a negative anion. So, the nonmetal, it forms a negative anion. Okay, let's actually look. This is actually the opposite to what happened uh, in pointer number three. So, the nonmetal, remember that the nonmetal is actually the receiver in this case. The nonmetal is actually the re receiver of electrons from the metal, right? Therefore, if it receives more electrons, it means it will come, it will just be richly supplied with electrons, or it will, it will have what? It will have more electrons, meaning that it will have excess electrons or more than enough. Therefore, when, you, well, when it has got excess electrons, it becomes an n ion so a cation is just given by this form x minus and then an n ion uh let's do this yeah this is an n ion and then this is a cation so a cation is got what an excess of protons and then an n ion is got what an excess of electrons therefore this is negative so this negative actually on or uh, on the n ion is coming from the excess of electrons which it got from where from the complete transfer of electrons from the metal so let us go um to five so here, the electrostatic attraction of ions leads to formation of giant crystal lattice. So there is an electrostatic 
electrostatic attraction of ions it leads which leads to a formation of giant crystal lattice okay so there's an electrostatic attraction between ions uh, reason being remember that the all the ions were actually completely transferred from the metal to the non-metal therefore uh, that is called an electrostatic attraction of ions which can lead to a formation of giant crystal lattices we can actually go on on another video to actually check out what are those uh, giant crystal lattices thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe recommend your friends to stay tuned